The 777 engine and APU fire protection systems are similar to those in other jet transports. The systems detect and extinguish fires in the engines and the APU. The engine fire protection system also detects overheat conditions. Both engines and the APU have dual loop fire detection systems. The same dual loops in the engines also detect overheats. Each dual loop system is automatically tested at power up and continuously monitored thereafter for faults. The fire and overheat detection systems can also be manually tested. Two fire bottles protect both engines. One fire bottle protects the APU. The crew extinguishes engine fires from the engine fire panel. The engine fire switches shut down the engines and discharge the engine fire bottles. The switches are locked to the in position when no fire is detected. The locks are electrically operated. The engine bottle discharge lights indicate the condition of the engine fire bottles. The lights are extinguished when the fire bottles are fully charged. The system alerts the crew of a fire only if both detection loops detect a fire. In addition to the master warning light and fire bell, when an engine fire is detected, an ICAS warning message appears. Also notice the fire indications on the associated engine's fuel control switch and engine fire switch. The associated engine fire switch has unlocked. After the fuel control switch is moved to cutoff, pull the appropriate engine fire switch. Pulling the engine fire switch accomplishes many things at once. Watch the results. The engine and spar fuel valves close, if not already closed by the fuel control switch. The engine bleed air valves close. Additionally, the engine fire switch shuts off hydraulic fluid and depressurizes the engine driven pump. The engine generator field and breaker are tripped. Finally, pulling the engine fire switch arms the appropriate discharge squib on each engine fire bottle. If pulling the engine fire switch does not extinguish the fire, rotate the switch to the left or right and hold against the stop for one second. Touch the highlighted area. Rotating the left engine fire switch to the left discharges fire bottle number one. When fire bottle number one is discharged, the ICAS advisory message bottle one discharge engine is displayed and the engine bottle one discharge light illuminates. If the fire is not out after 30 seconds, discharge the other fire bottle. When fire bottle number two is discharged, the ICAS advisory message, 
bottle 2 discharge engine is displayed and the engine bottle 2 discharge light illuminates. The fire warning indications are removed when the fire condition no longer exists. The engine fire protection system also detects engine overheat conditions. The system alerts the crew of an overheat only if both detection loops detect an overheat. Message appears. When the overheat condition no longer exists, the overheat indication is removed. Now let's look at the APU. The crew extinguishes APU fires from the APU fire panel. The APU fire switch shuts down the APU and discharges the APU fire bottle. The switch is locked in the in position when no fire is detected. The lock is electrically operated. The APU bottle discharge light indicates the condition of the APU fire bottle. The light is extinguished when the fire bottle is fully charged. With either engine running, the APU fire protection system alerts the crew of an APU fire only if both detection loops detect a fire. In addition to the master warning light and fire bell, when an APU fire is detected, an ICAS warning message appears. When an APU fire signal is detected in this airplane, the APU automatically shuts down. The fire switch automatically unlocks. Pull the APU fire switch. Pulling the APU fire switch accomplishes the following. The APU fuel valve and APU bleed air valve close. The APU shuts down if the automatic shutdown has failed. The APU air inlet door closes. The APU generator field and breaker are tripped. Finally, pulling the APU fire switch arms the APU fire bottle. If the fire still exists, discharge the fire bottle by rotating the fire switch in either direction and holding against the stop for one second. When the fire bottle is discharged, the ICAS advisory message, bottle discharge When the fire is out, the fire warning indications are removed. In summary, if either engine is running, both detection loops must detect a fire. The APU shuts down automatically and the APU fire bottle must be manually discharged. When the airplane is on the ground with both engines shut down and the APU operating, only one detection loop is necessary to detect a fire. In this case, the detection of an APU fire
causes the APU to automatically shut down and the fire bottle to automatically discharge. When on the ground, an APU fire can be extinguished manually from the flight deck or by using the fire controls on the nose gear panel. Remember, an APU fire will always cause an automatic shutdown of the APU. These controls and indicators are associated with the APU fire protection system. The APU bottle discharged light is extinguished. This indicates that the APU fire bottle is fully charged. When an APU fire is detected, the APU fire warning horn sounds and the APU fire warning light illuminates. Push the APU fire shutdown switch. Touch the highlighted area. Pushing the APU fire shutdown switch silences the horn. Shuts down the APU if the automatic shutdown has failed. And arms the APU fire bottle. When the fire bottle arms, the APU fire bottle armed light illuminates. Remember, if both engines are shut down, the fire bottle automatically discharges. However, in this example, push the APU bottle discharge switch. Pushing the APU bottle discharge switch discharges the fire bottle. When the fire bottle is discharged, the APU fire bottle discharged light illuminates. When the fire is out, the warning indication is removed. Now, let's look at some non-normal situations in the fire protection system. Normally, the fire switches unlock if a fire is detected. However, if a fire switch fails to unlock, use the fire override switch. Pushing and holding the fire override switch unlocks the fire switch, while the over APU fire override switch operation is the same as shown here. Now let's look at another non-normal situation. The dual loop detection systems are tested at power up and continuously monitored thereafter for faults. If a detection loop fails, dual loop detection changes to single loop detection. For single loop detection, the crew is alerted if the remaining operating loop detects a fire. If both detection loops fail, the ICAS advisory message, detection fire engine for the associated engine is displayed. In this example, the detection system can no longer detect fires in the left engine and fire indications are not available.